updates in a cold case we've been following for months now. The Pitt County Sheriff's Office reopened the case of Sheila Brown six months ago, and now they have to halt their investigation. WNCT's Zora Stevenson has details on their roadblocks. This case will never again be closed as natural causes and will forever be among our unsolved open case murders. In June, the Pitt County Sheriff's Office reopened the case of Sheila Brown when they came across the file and realized things just didn't add up. Now, six months later, they have to hold their efforts because they can't exhume the body. I'm going forth and doing an estimation on where I think the grave is and then it's not the, the right grave, then we've essentially wasted monies. Even though law enforcement can't move forward, Brown's daughter Iris is relieved to know someone gave her mom the investigation she deserved. We won't know who, when, or where, but at least she got a proper investigation this time, which she should have gotten back in 1973. While investigating the case, Major Paula Dance talked to a number of people, including the original detective, who she thinks lied about multiple things. I asked Major Dance if she believed law enforcement was behind Brown's death, and she says it could be a possibility. That is not off the table for me at this point because of the um, information given from the best friend that she would not have gotten into the car um, had it not been, you know, someone who was in authority. Um, I, I don't think that's far, far fetched. As for the family, they still have hope. Me and my family are going to still talk to the cemetery people and see if there's any way that we can possibly figure out exactly which one is hers. Both law enforcement and the family encourage anyone with information to come forward. In Greenville, Zora Stevenson, Nine on Your Side. Jackie Lee Moy, the detective who originally investigated Brown's case, was convicted of rape in 2000 and served more than four years in prison.